Welcome to SEEDNet, a robust manipulated face detection algorithm. AI synthesized face are spreading on the internet in the form of pictures or videos. Based on forged areas, manipulated images can be classified into two categories. The first method only taps with some specific area, such as expressions attributes, or identities. For example, figure B changes the expression from smile to sad, figure C adds beard to figure B, and figure D changes the identity. The second one can generate an entire sensor-sized face, and recent works mainly concentrate on various scans. Figure E is generated by StyleGAN2, Fake image datasets are important benchmarks for testing the performance of existing deepfake generation methods. With these datasets, numerous detection algorithms have been proposed to counter image manipulation. In this paper, the proposed method is evaluated on two challenging datasets. The first one is SolabDF in which images are manipulated by deepfakes. It is the second-generation deepfake dataset, containing 5,639 high-quality deepfake videos, 519 real videos, and 300 YouTube videos. The other one is DFFD, which contains various GANs images. The number of training sets test sets, and validation sets of each type is shown in the slide. Before introducing our work, let's review the content of attention. The figure shows the framework of NanLocal, which is an application of attention. The contents in the red books can be shown in the figure on the right. An image includes three dimensions, height, width, and number of channels, which are represented by H, W, and C, respectively. Firstly, the image is flattened, so the shape of the matrix is transformed into H, W times C and C times H, W. Then the two matrix are dot multiplied to get the energy matrix, whose shape is H, W times H, W. Therefore, the relationship between two points in the image corresponds to an element in the energy matrix. In essence, metric dot multiplication can be understood as the inner product of many vectors, and the inner product of two vectors can be expressed by this formula. If there is a strong correlation between two positions, their corresponding vectors will be similar so the inner product will be large. As for the soft max, I will introduce it in the next slide. As mentioned in the previous slide, the inner product of vectors can reflect the similarity of them. As is shown in figure A, projection of B on A multiplied by the length of A equals inner product and the angle between A and B is theta. When theta is an accurate angle, the inner product will be positive. Apart from inner product, Euclidean distance can also be used to calculate similarity. Contrary to inner product, the more similar two vectors are, the smaller Euclidean distance between them is. That is, the similarity of vectors and Euclidean distance show negative correlation. So, when Euclidean distance is selected to describe similarity, minus will be introduced. Therefore, lambda minus Euclidean distance is used to represent the similarity, where lambda is the threshold. Different from inner product, Distance shown in figure B is calculated. The lambda is adjusted to make EIJ negative when theta is not enough. 
the operation means more elements in M will be close to zero. Therefore, proposed algorithm can neglect unimportant errors and give more weights to positions with higher correlation. Next, let's pay our attention to softmax. The negative value of E will be mapped to a small value in M, which means a small weight. In fact, as softmax is a translation invariant, lambda can be removed. But for more generic expression, lambda is retained in this paper because there are other activation functions can be selected. When it comes to residuals information, previous work has proved that the residuals information of YCRCB has obvious difference. As the histogram shows, the gray box is the difference of RGB space, and the red box is the difference of YCRCB space. The picture on the right is the result of residuals. From these two figures, it is obvious that the residuals information in YCRCB space can be used as an effective feature to detect manipulation phase. In order to extract residuals information, we use a second order feature, which is defined as follows. In fact, it can be seen as a high pass filter. After introducing our innovations, this slide shows the flowchart of the algorithm. In the first step, the video is transformed into images and faces are detected. In the second step, the residual information is extracted and merged with original images. The third step is the detection algorithm. SENet is selected as a baseline. Attention and ED model are added on it. This table shows the detection results of our algorithm and previous methods. It can be seen that after using the residuals information, even the baseline can achieve good detection results. When attention and ED modules are added, the detection performance is further improved. To prove SEEDNet shows stronger robustness, some common image processing operations are used to post-process the test set, such as JPEG compression, median filters, and Gaussian noise. The details are listed in this table. These two tables show the detection results. It is clear that SEEDNet shows stronger robustness. Thank you for your attention.